But what I wanted to do in today's video is I want to talk about a recent golf lesson. So Ian is a student of mine who came to visit for a golf lesson and he's actually been progressing really good and most of our work together has been in the backswing. So Ian was the kind of golfer who used to turn over the leg. And this basically means in his backswing position, um, his head would wander over towards his trail side and he'd end up getting stuck on the back leg, hitting it like so. So what we've been doing is I've been progressing and trying to build Ian's understanding of, of how to turn the pelvis into the leg and keeping your head central. And this is a key thing. Not only is this a key thing for the, for the backswing position, in terms of you don't want to move like this, okay? If you start moving like this, you're going to do things like lose hip depth, you're going to struggle with things like contact and like say like similar to where you're going to end up stuck on the back leg so what we've been doing is we've been trying to understand how to turn the pelvis into the leg not over the leg okay and he's starting to demonstrate a more sing a, a, a more centered backswing position but what we now need to do is we need to change the downswing position okay so what's happening in the downswing is he's still a little bit uncertain as to exactly how to move and he still has traits like most amateur golfers do where they sort of look like they're swinging more over the top so the idea in this lesson was quite simple it was to mimic the same move it was to learn how to keep your head still and turn the pelvis into the leg you see when you turn the pelvis into the leg correctly as i see with a lot of my students is the trail shoulder drops down and even just simple exercises like this that I do all the time with online students, see the pelvis goes into the leg, trail shoulder drops down, and you can start to feel how you're going to get that shoulder down on the back of the ball. But the big thing for Ian, if I just sort of swing towards the wall here, is if I swing back, in the downswing, if you turn over the leg, the shoulder comes over. If you turn the pelvis into the leg, the shoulder drops down, and all of a sudden you can start to see progress. Now the interesting thing was, is as I was watching Ian do some of these exercises, it wasn't until I sort of saw him suffering to replicate when, especially with this term pelvis into leg, because of the upper leg position he was adopting. See, Ian is somebody who, um, over the, he's had both knees over the years, right? So he's had two knee replacements. So obviously as he's had those, he's had to build confidence in that sort of replacement. And what he's sort of done is got a little bit bowed. So if you start going a little bit bowed legged like this when you tuck your knees in, you're gonna basically immobilize your movement, which is one of the reasons why Ian was finding it so difficult, particularly in the downswing, because his left knee was sort of kicked in, couldn't turn in. So I wanted to kind of just talk about this because there might be some of you out there that struggle in the downswing and you're trying to do things like drop your shoulder down. And what I try and preach on the channel is if you can learn how to turn the pelvis into the leg, your shoulder will drop down as a byproduct of it. So your pivoting action is really important. What I also wanted to do is I wanted to talk about making sure you have a wide enough stance because if your stance is too narrow you can't turn the pelvis into the leg similar to Ian you'll turn over it and then even if you rectify the width of stance why I would encourage you to flare that foot out is because it's easier to turn the pelvis into a leg where the lead leg is forward facing as opposed to if you're this way and then finally it's worth double checking that you're not too knock kneed because if you're knock kneed you're going to find it impossible to move correctly. So you want to make sure that the upper part of your leg is aligned to the, to the foot. So if you're going to flare your foot towards the target, this doesn't want to be inward. This wants to be perfectly in line with the position of that foot so that you can turn the pelvis into this leg. So it's something that it's one of those for Ian. As we could see, the before was kind of like, you know, hanging back this way. And, you know, if he was trying to turn, he was turning over the leg. And the after was he was starting to learn how to turn the pelvis into the leg. And all of a sudden he could start to kind of get a feeling of doing some short swings where he was able to replicate a position like I'm demonstrating here. So it's a key thing that you certainly want to be practicing and doing. Let me know how you're getting on. I'll see you guys again really soon.